in fact, I know absolutely nothing about this tune. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. I, I, I must have come across it on the internet some time ago. And instead of like copying or, or downloading a tab or a, a tab or a sheet music for it, I copied it directly into Guitar Pro. And the name that I that I copied into it was uh, Chanson de Balladé. Chanson de Balladé. And I can't find it again. I, I've been back on the internet and I've searched for hours and hours and hours looking for it again. And I just can't find it. Obviously, um, uh, Google just pulls up all the titles with chanson, which just means song. So there are just like billions of them. Uh, and balladé, uh, I, I don't really know because the, the French for balladé means to walk or to promenade. Um, so whether that means that balladé was a, a kind of dance tune or a dance step, I've got no idea, but I can't find it. If anybody can help me with the, the title and the composer, I'd be really grateful if you recognise it. I haven't found it anywhere else. I don't know where to look. It's a really nice tune and I've been fascinated by it um, for, for some time. And I, I'm guessing that it's a rare Renaissance period. I, I, it's too interesting to be medieval. There, there are, it, it's simple, but there are interesting things going on. And you're going to see as I walk you through it. Tabs will be on screen for, for patrons, uh, as well as a PDF. So if you want to sign up for my Patreon, there's a link in the description. Uh, otherwise, I'll just walk you through it right now. Now, I played you through twice in the demo uh, with two different endings. I'm trying to figure out what key it's in as well. Now, on the sheet music, then, it's got no sharps and no flats. So you say, well, is it is it, um, is it a minor key? I'd say, yes, it's A minor, uh, probably. But like I say, it's, it's interesting because it starts with, uh, with E and goes to F and then G and then B. And I find that really interesting. Okay, so let's have a look at that then. It, it, there's a pickup note, which is uh, which is a note E, and then into F. Okay, and I'm playing it, and I'm playing it Campanella style. So at least this introduction part is uh, this Campanella style. So I've got E on the second, F on the third, C on the first, and G on the fourth. Okay, hold that shape and use your little finger, your pinky, to play B. And then remove your first finger to play A, and then G again. That's already sweet, isn't it? Okay, and then after that then, we've got a couple of um, uh, harmony notes. And let's say that here I'm going to go B and A together. And that's, that's unusual. to F and C, okay? So B and A, B on the seventh fret of the second, and A open on the first. Slide up my little finger and play F on the third string, fifth fret, and C on the eighth fret, okay? And then holding that shape then, I'm gonna drop my second finger on the note, D, and play D with G open. Okay, so like this. Back to C, and then sliding down quickly to D and B, and then A, G, and E open. That passage then starts and finishes with E. that's bar four and then at the end of bar four then we're going to move into the next section with this note D again so D on the second fret of the third string and then jump up to what would be C so C and E and I'm going to add an extra G here so C and C and E down to D back to E with a G in the with the thumb and to C. So it's gonna go and now I'm gonna play B and uh, G. So it's gonna give me like a G chord and C, C with an E open. 
Okay, so let's do that again. Okay, and now I'm going to play F and A. This is into bar seven. F and A, G and B, A on its own, and F and B. So that could be like a G7 chord, possibly. And then down to G. Okay, so let's just do that again. So that section at the end of uh, the end of bar eight, moving into bar eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so we've got A, D, E, G, D, and our first accidental, which is F sharp, and finishing with the C major chord. Here we've just got a C five. Okay, so it's C's and G's. two C's, octaves apart, so low C, high C, and then well, I'm going to hold that C there, hold that C in place, keep uh, keep that ring in, and stretch up and play the note B on the seventh fret of the second string, because I want to play then C and A together. To this shape with F and B. So F and B, A open, B and G, G again, and then F and A. So like this. And then at the end of bar 14, G to C to D. Into bar 15. And I decided to end that with an A minor. Okay, so I'm deciding that it's in the key of A minor, there are no sharps and flats, so that, that would make uh, perfect sense. However, in the music that I downloaded, um, it finishes with a D minor. And that doesn't make any sense to me. It just doesn't make any sense because I'm already on D minor. It doesn't resolve nicely. It, it, it's just stuck. Now, if it's in the key of A minor and we're talking about Renaissance music or even medieval music, late medieval music, um, you might be tempted to finish it with an A major. Okay, what they call the, the Picardy third. Okay, so the third note of an A minor scale is uh, is C. So you've got an A, an A minor. You've got a C. Okay, and in a lot of early music, they didn't want to finish a piece with a minor. They thought that was too sad, so they wanted to finish it with a major. So the third then. And they're going to sharpen it, and that gives you, gives you a major. Okay, but I didn't do that. I finished it with an A minor. And the reason is that it's not ended, it's, we're not finished, I'm going to play it again. So I go through it all over again. And now you've got a choice. You can either finish it with A minor, as I did in the first place, and A major. Okay, now I decided to do neither of those because the, the printed music that I found ended in D minor and I didn't like it. So I decided to try... Uh, D major, so it's the principle of a Picardy third, um, although technically it's not if it's in the key of A minor. Well, I think that's nice because that 
it's it's unexpected, um, but I think it works well. So, but that's up to you. You can choose the ending that you want. I think it makes a nice contract from the A minor. First time round, and the second time round. Okay. So it's a really pretty tune, as I say. If you can help me find the name and the, the name of it and the composer, I'd be really grateful. Um, I don't even know where to start looking for that. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next uh, the next lesson. <laughs>